the example says we have to be given two lines like this and like this we have to test that these two lines skew according to my description here all I have to do according to my description here all I have to do I have to build this system I have to build this system and I have to show that this system doesn't have any solutions I have to show that the system doesn't have any all I have to do is oh no sorry my fault I also have to test that the vectors are not para, they are not parallel so the B, B1 vector here sorry B vector here and the B1 vector here they are not parallel but being parallel you remember it's that's one of you mentioned it today being parallel it's when one vector is a scalar multiple of the other like this or the other way around so for these two vectors here the vector is here's the vector 1 3 2 and here's the vector 2 3 1 oh no sorry 2 negative 3 and 1 I'm not writing this I'm just picking it up from from the question so here the vector 1 2 and 3 and here the vector 2 negative 3 and 1 these vectors obviously not a scalar multiple one of another you can't come up with a scalar multiple which makes this vector from this because if you if you imagine you have such a multiple you will have the multiple here to convert this one to this two you have you have to have your multiple two but with the multiple two you cannot possibly convert this two to negative three that's it that's the end of story that's why they are not parallel to each other so all we have to test for is that this system doesn't have a solution and that then we end up with a skew possibility that's it and the, te the testing itself is relatively easy uh, you just you just write this you just equate this x to this x if I equate here it is so it's the first component of my equation of the line on the left hand side that's the first component on the right hand side and all of the others they're here and this one so you look at this system now uh, a system of three equations with two unknowns all you have to show that the system doesn't have any solution uh, well I guess the, I, I mentioned I said it a few times because we looked at the systems a few times already uh, you might find a different way to do it I normally do it my way not all of you probably like my way so you can do it any other way if you have any if you don't then you have to do my way sorry for that so well, but this time I just it's easier so what we do we just bring all unknowns on one side all knowns on the other side so the first equation converts into lambda take 2 mu equal 1 second equation converts into 2 lambda plus 3 mu equal 2 correct me if I'm wrong there might be typos I do typos sometimes uh, 3 lambda take mu equal 2 now I will look at the only uh, I will look only at the first two because normally when you have two unknowns two equations are sufficient to find those unknowns so I'll find these unknowns from the first two and I'll then I'll test the values I will find with the, with the third one now if I want to find these unknowns I will I will multiply this by negative 2 not 22 2 I will multiply this by negative 2 and add them together right if I multiply by negative 2 lambda will be gone in the mu position it will be 4 plus 3 7 so it will be do I have anything here I can write here it will be 7 mu equal uh, and here will be negative 2 is 0 and we come up with the mu value right away 0 from the first two if I want to find the lambda value from the first two oh, it's not a good ah, okay if I want to find lambda value from the first two I multiply this by 3 and I multiply this by 2 and I add them together because this choice of coefficients will make mu disappear and in lambda position will be 3 plus 4 it's, it's another 7 uh, and here I will have 3 plus 4 it's another 7 oh it's a good tool it's, it's a good equation actually so here's my solution here's my solution from the first two now if I test the solution with the second one obviously it doesn't work right everybody sees that that's all there is to this example we that's that's why the system complete system with three equations doesn't have any solutions we solved first two and we tested with the third one didn't work hallelujah uh, and this is it remember there was there was also toast uh, sorry 
there was also a test about being parallel. You can't, you, can't, you can't avoid this test because if you just test it that the system doesn't have any solutions, you still have ambiguity. It might be parallel or skewed. You have to rule out this possibility. It's, it's easy ruling out. You just have to see that one vector is not multiple of the other, but still you have to at least mention this in your solution. And so the lines are skewed. Any questions? Yes. Uh, 